While everyone appreciates a hot and hearty meal, we often take our food for granted. Without fear of contamination, we can enjoy our dinner, partly because we know that thanks to food science and government regulations, that food is safe, clean, and healthful. But it wasn't always that way. A hundred years ago, most of this food didn't exist. And without the technology to preserve food, most of it would have spoiled before it even got to the store shelf. Given the variety of foods and packages we have now, can you imagine that in the early 1800s, it took about 14 years to develop the basic method used in canning? Nicolas Appert invented canning back in 1809, still about 100 years before Louis Pasteur figured out that heat killed bacteria, the process known as pasteurization. Technology has done a lot in providing us with the food supply we have today. And food scientists around the world make it happen. As society and technology change, so do the regulations that govern the food supply in the United States. At the turn of the 20th century, the industrial age was in full swing, and the mass production of food was a growing enterprise. But many factories that processed and packaged foods were often filthy and unsanitary. In 1906, the writer Upton Sinclair published The Jungle, a novel about the American meatpacking industry. Sinclair's novel follows the story of a young immigrant working at a meatpacking plant in squalid conditions. It is based on Sinclair's own experiences when he spent seven weeks investigating Chicago's meatpacking plants. While his main target was the industry's appalling labor conditions, people were most outraged by the filth and contamination in American food that his novel exposed. Although the U.S. Department of Agriculture had been established in 1862, on its publication, the jungle caused such an enormous uproar that Congress passed legislation that included the Meat Inspection Act and the Food and Drugs Act of 1906. And the United States Department of Agriculture inspectors were put in every meat plant in the country where they remain today. Many historians and scientists consider this legislation the beginning of laws that ensure the safety of our present food supply. This also led to the establishment of what we now know as the Food and Drug Administration. The FDA, along with USDA and several other government agencies, is responsible for protecting the public health by assuring the safety of the nation's human and animal food supply and a range of human and veterinary drugs. Over the decades, the growing demands for food hygiene, safety, and innovation have presented food scientists with new and exciting challenges. When television became common in American households in the 1950s, food scientists helped develop the technology for the famous TV dinner. TV dinners were developed after the food processing company, C.A. Swanson & Sons, encountered a storage problem following Thanksgiving one year. With too much turkey and not enough storage space, the company packed the meat in small portions and transported it in refrigerated trains across the United States. They packaged the food in compartmentalized aluminum trays, just like airline meals. The dinners were marketed to tie in with the nation's latest craze, television. Families could eat their segmented trays of turkey, potato, and buttered peas in front of their television sets. The company had a huge hit, and they sold millions of TV dinners to families who found them very convenient. Other technological advances have brought different challenges to food science. Astronauts eat food aboard the space shuttle that food scientists, dietitians, and engineers help research and develop. They work out the best way to process, preserve, and package different types of food while keeping it as nutritious, varied, and tasty as possible. And how do you handle crumbs in zero gravity? The relationship between food and health has always been strong, so food fortification has become big business. Take a look at your breakfast table. The orange juice, cereal, and milk most likely contain a wide variety of added vitamins and minerals intended to increase their nutritional value. Many foods are fortified or enriched with vitamins and minerals that replace nutrients lost or degraded during production. While we have an abundant food supply in the U.S., 
other parts of the world have fewer food choices, which can limit their intake of important nutrients and create serious health consequences. For example, vitamin A deficiency often leads to blindness in children. Advances in plant biotechnology have helped rice and other staple foods to contain sufficient amounts of vitamin A to prevent debilitating conditions. And food scientists are the brains behind it all. This discipline uses engineering, biological, and physical sciences to study the nature of food, the causes of its deterioration, the principles of food processing, and the improvement of foods for public consumption. Food technology involves the application of food science to the selection, preservation, processing, packaging, distribution, and use of safe, nutritious, and wholesome food. It can take a lot of effort to get food to your table. These oranges are picked in Florida, shipped to a processing plant, pressed, packaged, and shipped to the stores as orange juice. The whole process takes more than just creativity or a healthy appetite. It takes science.